Welcome to Nintendo News News. I'm your host, Chris Dysis, and we are here to talk about an anniversary of the very well-known game. Super Mario Galaxy turns 10 years old. It was released in North America around this time. And I can't believe the time has flown by so much since those days. Now, obviously, it was released on the Nintendo Wii. And I remember playing it myself. And it was just a joy. It was this... Um, it was this sort of um, feeling of joy and wonder as you, as you explore these different worlds and planets and things like that. I still love the intro of the game where Bowser's blowing up the things and Mario's running through, you know, passing through the toads and the other little animals and that, and the castle being drawn up um, from the ground and taken away. And I thought that was quite amazing to see. And obviously from Super Mario Sunshine, um, from the GameCube era, it was seen as a sort of probably a big improvement for people. And I enjoyed, you know, jumping around. And I think it was a sort of game for me that probably rekindled a bit of the love of Nintendo. Because I, I, when I was younger, I was into the N64 in the late 90s and things like that. And then my life became a bit more difficult um, living away sort of independently a bit with my father and my uncle and all that sort of stuff. And I never really got much in touch with the, the GameCube and GBA era. Um, and I, I still got those consoles, but I really didn't play many games out of them, hardly at all. I mainly just played your Pokemons and your Mario Karts, and that was it. And then the excitement of the Wii came, and I got that, and I got Super Mario galaxy and still the shake of the the re remote as mario shoots off around the planet sort of still still in my mind after all these years and it's still one of the greatest games of all time i believe and it's interesting um of course the debates will be you know is mario galaxy a better game than super mario odyssey that's come out you know, just a few weeks ago. And that debate will continue on for many years. And there's the same thing with Super Mario 64, these sort of three games. And of course, you could probably include Super Mario Galaxy 2. So, but I still have a lot of great memories playing on the Wii and stuff like that. And I still, and as much as the Wii, Wii's graphics is bagged out, you know, not being HD all the way back then, I still marveled how they got a game that looked so incredible um, on, you know, a console that basically had like 256 meg of RAM. Um, it was astonishing what, what they were able to achieve with that. And I still think it's, it's an incredible achievement by Nintendo and it's still one of the best games around. Just a little remote and he's off around the planets. It's just... Yeah, I, I really did enjoy Super Mario Galaxy, and it's still a game that I've got here with me, and I've got a little old Wii console. Obviously, I can play it on the Wii U, but it's it's interesting looking back and how long ago it is now, back in the, the Wii era where things were really good for Nintendo and all that sort of stuff. And I guess nowadays things are going well for Nintendo, but, you know, that period of the Wii U was tough to handle. But I'm happy to see that um, we can look back and look at these incredible games and have a good time understanding them. So, but I'd like to see what your thoughts were of Super Mario Galaxy. What were your thoughts when you first bought the game and you booted in and started playing it? And, and where do you put Super Mario Galaxy with all the other Nintendo games in the history? Is it right up there? Is it um, your favorite Mario game still? Um, with Mario Odyssey and the other great Mario games that's come out. But um, it's always nice to look back and, and look at uh, some of the great games of our time. So that's it for me, and I shall see you next time.